Welcome to the Citadel. Rail and now I'm on here with Citadel Catholic Media arming you with the Sword of Truth. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. We're continuing on in our series of The Family Matters, Part 6. And if you uh, might notice, we've changed up the format a little bit and the, and the set this time because we're talking about a very sensitive topic. We're talking about the submission of the wife. So get a cup of tea or a cappuccino like I have here and uh, let's talk. Now I realize this is a bit of a touchy subject and we remember that whenever it's that time of the church cycle where we read the Ephesians 5 verse, we see a lot of squirming in our chairs and the pews and normally the priest that has to give the homily either completely skirts the issue or he does a very weak job of explaining it. And we can definitely surmise that this is the work of the devil. So let's take a second and read the verse real briefly. And we're in Paul's letter to the Ephesians. It's chapter 5 and we're on verse 22. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord. And we can move down to verse 24. As the church is subordinate to Christ, so wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Now the first thing I notice about that verse is that St. Paul is making an underlying assumption. He is assuming that the husband is actually doing some leading. Now, so that involves him telling some people what to do, including his wife, especially his wife. And that's part of the problem we see in our society today, that we see the moms or the wives actually giving all of the orders, telling everybody what to do, and a husband isn't doing any leading. Um, the thing to point out here and to remember is that as St. Paul, and we remember last time from St. Peter, it's not that it was a cultural thing of their time why they were explaining this. This is actually the natural law. The, the times have changed. The world has changed. Not God. God has always made people the same. He continues to do that now. We just noticed that back in the times of the Bible, people were having a struggle with it at that time, and they are now to today. In these verses that we're dealing with at this point, there's no if statements. What do I mean? Well, let's look again at verse 22. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord. And then the next verse, we always hear, For the husband is the head of his wife, just as Christ is the head of the church, he himself, Savior of the body. A lot of times we'll hear, uh, Husbands, love your wives as Christ of the church and give yourself completely to her. Now, there in there, there's really no if statement connecting those two to, to say that, Wives, be subordinate to your husbands if he loves you as Christ loved the church. No, it's, it's almost a presumption that he be deemed worthy, that he merit the submission, when there is no qualification there for that. Each is supposed to follow their role out of love for God, out of obedience to God. Now, you might say, well, you don't know my husband. And you're right, I don't. But what I do know is that you chose him. And he is the way he is today. But remember back to the time when you initially got together, when you first met, and the things that attracted you to him and caused you to want to give your life completely to him. These are the things that should come to mind and, the, and would drive you to want to submit and and follow him follow his lead be an encourager to him to follow, to walk in his god-given role as leader of the home what we're seeing quite often in the world today is that the wives are and mothers are actually leading in the home and the husbands as we said before are turning their attention outside the home so what happens there there's actually a very special, particular, God-given role for the wife that is left void. As Pius XI says, the, if the husband is head of his 
home, the wife is the heart. That heart is gone. The heart is trying to be filled by some exterior source, a daycare or, or a school, something outside. This is not what God intended. So we're going to talk about it next time on Family Matters. Come back and see us. God bless you.